morning, Huffman Bay High School. I'm Kaylin, and this is the Cougar Campus News. Attention seniors, have you registered for grad night yet? Grad night is an all-night party for just the graduating class of 2023 with food, games, and more. Don't miss out. Visit the website below to get signed up. The price is now $90, but will increase to $100 on Monday, so don't wait. Seniors, as a reminder, you need 35 hours of community service to graduate. See Ms. Hoffman in her office just outside the library if you have any questions about getting your hours logged. Now, here's Brian with the mental health tip of the week. Last few weeks of school can be a time of increased stress and anxiety. Here are some tips to help when feeling overwhelmed. Get back to basics, balanced nutrition, plenty of water and exercise, and regular periods of downtime are essential to maintain balance during this busy time. Plan it out. Use an agenda to plan and prioritize activities, assignments, and study time. We will have more end of year tips next week. Stay calm and stay focused. Final exams are coming soon. Hey Cougars, so juniors, if you're interested in applying for Boston University, Leahy University, University of Puget Sound, and St. Olaf College, please come out May 23rd at 12 p.m. in the library because Posse Foundation Bay Area will be here to give a uh, presentation on a scholarship. Have a good day. If you are signed up for APUSH next school year, Please attend a quick info session at the start of lunch in room D8 this next Tuesday, May 16th. Juniors, if you are signed up for AP English Literature next year, come to a meeting at the beginning of lunch this coming Wednesday, May 17th in room K9. The list of students who are signed up for the class will be posted outside K9. Students and staff, as we approach the end of the school year, what are some of your favorite memories? What has been your favorite memory this year? I guess just like hanging out and meeting new people and like joining clubs and stuff. What has been your favorite memory this year? Well, it has to be related to community service, of course. of course. And I love seeing when students do community service right here on campus. We have Miss um, Anderson's got a group creating art in the Cougar Park. And Mr. Gray has worked with his students and totally cleared out for the new park over by the parking lot. So it's so amazing to see that happen. Awesome. I have a lot of favorite memories because we um, did a lot of things in FFA this year. Um, we had two kiddos get elected to sectional office and we had two people go to state finals. Um, and we've just made a lot of progress, but I've also gotten to watch basically my little brother Dio play all the sports and go to state finals and it's been super fun this year. The varsity softball team beat El Camino 13-3. The Cougars banged out 16 hits in the game as Kendall Barmore went 4-4 four four at the plate to lead the Cougars. Sydney Sarabia, Emily Chavez, and Mia Medina all had multiple hits in the big win. The varsity baseball team lost to Sequoia 2-0. Liam Harrington pitched well in the loss as he struck out six batters. Now, once again, here's Mr. Roth with another reminder about the survey for student athletes. Cougars! Spring Sports Student Athletes, please check your Google School inbox. We have sent out Spring Sports Surveys to all Spring Student Athletes. We really want to hear your feedback about the Spring season, how it went, what we can do as an athletics program to improve and make your experience as Cougar Athletes the best it possibly can be. Have a great day. Go Cougars. We're down to just 12 classes remaining now in our trivia playoff competition. The answer to our trivia question from this past Wednesday about the movies, Book Club, the next chapter. And congratulations to these four classes who were the fastest to answer and have advanced along to the next round.
And congratulations once again to those four classes who have advanced along in the playoffs. And a special shout out to Mr. Bidette and his advisory period. They are the lowest surviving seed, finishing in 19th place during the regular season. But Mr. Bidette, you're rocking it in the playoffs. You keep uh, surviving and advancing along. These are the eight classes who will compete today. Best of luck to those eight classes who are competing today. And as a reminder, the top four still have buys. The big dogs, Galvin, Shower, Damon, and Mr. V. And the rest of you out there, no need to send in your answer today. Only the eight classes that are competing. All right, best of luck. Today's category is fruits and vegetables. Watch your email for the question from me and have a Fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend out there. Happy Moon Bay High School.